India had a horrific train accident recently, but why it happened? Let's understand these events. On June 2nd, at 7 p.m., the Coromandel Express arrived at Bahanaga Bazaar railway station at 128 km per hour, which was supposed to go on the main line, but by mistake went into the loop line on the side, where the goods train had iron or standing. The speed with which the collision took place, the impact was very severe. The engine and two bogies of the Coromandel Express went over the goods train. 10 to 12 bogies got derailed. At the moment Yasvanpur Express was also coming from opposite side. It had almost crossed. But its last two bogies collided with the derailed bogies of Coromandel Express. The accident killed 288 people, and 1175 people were injured. The mass of the iron ore filled train was comparatively high, so the full impact of the collision went on the Coromandel Express. The predictable cause for the accident is a technical glitch, failure in the interlocking system, or human error. Attention is also being paid to the possibility of sabotaging the system. If it was a technical glitch, how did it happen? What is failure in interlocking system? It is not easy to manage a vast rail network like India. The interlocking system was made to make it easy. It is an automated electronic system whose job is to decide the directions of the train. In reality, it is not completely automated. In some cases, railway employees may also give inputs to it. While driving on the road, we turn the vehicle according to the need, but the train pilot cannot. Where else will he turn? He can only start, speed up and stop the train. Then how does the train change track? The tracks for the trains are predecided in the control room. Here the interlocking system plays its role. By sending signals, it sends the train in the desirable direction. The design of the wheel fulfills this purpose. The wheel is hinged to the track from the inner side, and the outer side is kept on track. If the train is standing on a track, when the pilot starts and increases the speed, the train moves where the rail is headed. Train changes track using this system. It is like a switch. The interlocking system does this by sending a change signal to this switch. Like here, when the track is left side switch, the train will move in this direction. In this way, the automated interlocking system is responsible for the track change of the train. The possible reason for India's train accident is possibly due to a problem in the switch here. At that location, a switch was to be arranged for the train to go ahead, but due to a glitch, system failure or human error, the train went into the loop line. Some people will say if the train protection system, Kavach, had been implemented, this incident would not have happened. But is it true? Kavach is a system designed to alert trains coming on the same track. It can also apply auto brake by accessing live locations using GPS. In this case, when the train entered the loop line by mistake, the distance of the goods train was only 90 to 100 meters. It was impossible to stop the train at a speed of 128 km per hour even by applying brakes in this situation. Even if the Kavach system was implemented here, this accident was inevitable. There is also some possibility of manual error in this accident. The control room indeed decides the routes of the train. But for the trains entering the railway station, the tracks will be decided by the station. That means switches can also be controlled from the station. So manual error from the station is also a possibility. The third possibility is if it was sabotaged. That means someone made this setup to cause an accident. This was fourth most fatal train accident for India. India had not seen such train accident for last 20 to 30 years. 